Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video we're going to be covering some very basic uses of checkboxes in JavaFX. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how we can use a checkbox to call a method and change the state of nodes that are within a pane. A checkbox will return true if the checkbox is selected and you call the isSelected method. If it's not selected, then this method will return false. This will be a very basic example of how the state of a checkbox can change a basic label as well as an image within an image view. So let's head to Scene Builder and get started. I'll use an anchor pane for this demonstration. Now we need a checkbox. So that is underneath controls. And that is near the top. Checkbox. I'll place it maybe here. Let's say on slash off, like it's a light switch. I'll change the font too. Right there is good, I suppose. I'll need an ID. Let's say my check box. And we'll need a method to link. Let's say change. Whenever we click this checkbox, we'll call the change method. Let's create a label. I'll put that near the middle. And let's say off to begin with, because the light switch will be off. And pick a font. That's decent. The ID, let's say my label. And if you have an image that you want to change, we can use an image view, although it's entirely optional for this video. So let's say I have an image. I'll place that near the middle. For the ID, let's say my image view. And you can also set an initial picture if you have one. So I have two images within my application package within my source folder. I'll set the initial picture to lightbulb2.png. And then when I click the on button, on off button, it's going to switch between these two images. Okay, let me save. Make sure to add your controller class because that's easy to forget. Save and let's head to our controller class. Open up the tab for your fxml file just so that it updates because sometimes it doesn't like to update. And let's inject our fxml code into our controller. And we are going to declare a few things. Private checkbox my check box at fxml private label my label. If you have an image view, then type at fxml private image view my image view. Okay, now if you have an image, let's create two image objects. Let's say my image one equals new image get class dot get resource as stream and the name of your first image and mine is light bulb one dot png let me copy all of this and make image two light bulb two dot png just as a quick reminder, these two images of mine are within my application package, so I only need to list the file name. Now, that method that we linked to my checkbox, that was named change, but you can really name it anything. So let's define that method. Public void change. And there is one parameter of action event event. So whenever we click our checkbox, it's going to call this method. But we need to check to see if our checkbox is selected or not, because it can have two states. So let's check to see if my checkbox dot is selected. What are we going to do then? So let's begin by just printing something to the console window, just as a test. So let's say on if it's selected, else we will print off. Okay, let's test it. You can see in the console window, it's displaying on and off. Let's change our label next. 
I'll get rid of this line here. My label dot set text to on else off. Now this label should switch between being on and off. And lastly, let's change the image within our image view. So to do that, we're going to take my image view dot set image to my first image of my image one, which is in my case, lightbulb1.png, but it's probably going to be something different for you. Else, we'll change this image to my image two. So our light bulb is on, now it's off. It's on, it's off. Well, everybody, that's a very basic example of us using a checkbox. That's really all there is to it. It's either on or it's off, and you can check the state by using the isSelected method of your checkbox. So if you would like a copy of this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. But yeah, that's a very basic use of a checkbox in JavaFX.